Thank you, and welcome to Agrinabesh. Simple method to grow more planting materials of sweet potato at home. But before that, don't forget the following to click. After gathering sweet potato vines, we individually cut them into pieces of leaf and node. This serves as the initial planting material. Here, we use the tip, which includes the first and second leaves, then third leaf, fourth leaf, fifth leaf, sixth leaf, then seventh leaf. We will grow our plants in soil mixed with rice hull charcoal. Planting of tips, we put for tips on the pot. Still inside the tip are the two younger leaves. In this mini experiment, we cut the leaves off of the two similar plants so we could compare how they responded with and without leaves. In a similar way, we will cut off the leaves of the replicate, including the remaining pot treatment. Our final setup for the mini experiment. On single leaf sweet potato cutting with comparison leaf and without leaf. After planting, add a little water to moisturize the bottom of the pot. Ten days after planting,
This time, we can still observe the survival mood even without leaves. After 10 days, there are already new shoots coming from the intact single leaf. Without a leaf plant on the four cuts, there is no sign of growth. Keeping of a single leaf, we can see that each has a beautiful new shoot growing. Look at how a single leaf can be used if there isn't enough growing material available. If we take the leaf from the sweet potato planting material, we observe less growth or survival, but if we leave it there, even if it's just a single leaf with a node, we can observe a significant amount of growth and development. Twenty-five days after planting. Here, we can see that the treatments without leaves grow slowly or die. Also, the side-growing plant shade made it more harder for them to survive. Look at how healthy the plants are. From a single leaf stem cutting to a fully developed planting material of sweet potato. In general, the option of using a single leaf is important. And it doesn't matter if it is a young or old leaf. As long as the leaf is still attached to its node. This is now ready for transplanting. We hope that you enjoy this mini experiment with a Grinabesh. If you are not yet a subscriber, don't forget to press the button. Then like or share. And click the notification bell for more updates on our upcoming videos on this channel. A, a Grinabesh. Thank you for watching.